Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. <clears throat> Hi, I am not Chris Perillo. I do have Hangout Juice, and I am uh, taking over, well, actually we are, the Nomies are taking over uh, TLDR for this Friday episode, partially because uh, Chris is under 10 pounds of snow right now, and he can't get out. It's making terrible. Snow yeah, he's making snow angels in his underwear uh, right now. <laughs> he's on day three of it. And that's his idea of a vacation. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, but we're talking about IRC clients, and IRC is is basically a technology that's older than the internet, and it is used for the main uh, Chris uh, uh, channel. If you go to live.perillo.com, you're chatting on IRC. Uh, there's a little embedded IRC uh, client in there. But we're talking about IRC clients uh, for Mac, Linux, Android, iPhone, and Windows. Uh, that are great standalone clients. And uh, one, one of the things that we suggested here in the Locker Gnome article is MIRC. Uh, how many people here use MIRC? Me. I'm All using right. it. I'm, I'm also an MIRC user. Yep. Um, it has been around forever, and it is awesome. It may not be free. You still have to pay to register. But um, if you can put up with, an, with you know, a little pop-up that says, hey, this is a reminder. You need to register. Um, it's practically free, and it's one of the most powerful IRC clients out there. And we recommend, um, you know, how to how to get set up with your with the server, how to get your nickname set, uh, and and all of that in the article. Um, we also recommend um, Colloquy if you are on the Mac platform, because um, MIRC I don't believe is available for Mac, uh, but Colloquy is actually really really good. Um, I've used Colloquy for a while. Um, I don't know if you know a power user would find it to be uh, s sufficient for you know scripting and and all of that. I don't know if anyone here uses it and finds it, finds it as such. I used it, but the only problem I had with it was those annoying sounds. Yes, and and you have to go through one by one and filter out every <laughs> annoying sound. Um, you know, if it, if you want somebody to join with no sound, you have to set that specifically. You can't just turn sounds off across the board. Um, yeah, it, it, yeah, that's definitely an annoying part of uh, a part of it as a default. But you can, you can set it. You can customize it to your needs. Um, but yeah, it, it for OS 10, it unfortunately is actually one of the best options out there. Um, do any of you use any other IRC clients for uh, Windows or OS 10? Uh, uh, um, for uh, Mac, I I currently use Adyen, and I find that all right to use. For general uh, use, I only have it for the Nomi's chat anyway, so yeah. but that is fine. Yeah, yeah it's it's Adium's a, That's what I'm using as well. You're using Adium? Yeah. Yeah, Adium's a, a great IM client. It's cross. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Adium is, um, Adium and Pigeon are basically in kind of the same family. They're both bird universal IM clients, um, but they uh, allow you to connect to Google Talk to. Uh, uh, Yahoo, they allow you to connect to AIM, and IRC. And in my experience, at least, it's always seemed like an afterthought. Like, oh, and we'll add IRC. But it's not optimized for it, at least in, in, in my regards. There's a lot of things that they could do better. Uh, I don't know if you all agree. Well, I notice when I bring it up, it seems to bring up a traditional uh, presence box that's not used for IRC. IRC is, has another box off on the right side, so it's, it's interesting. It's like... It's, I can see what you're saying, where it has like split personality. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we're also looking at, at mobile platforms, such as the iPad, iPhone, Android uh, tablets, uh, Android phones, uh, Windows phones, and all of that. Uh, for iPhone, we found Rooms, which is an interesting IRC client. Um, do any of you on iPhone or Android use IRC at all? Uh, yeah. I usually don't use IRC one on my uh, phone. I usually always use it on my desktop. Rooms definitely does work well on my iPhone. Um, I've had great success with it, and Android IRC on Android. Okay. All right, Android IRC. Uh, have you tried yeah. AnChat? Yes, but yes. I didn't like it as much. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, that's one thing about software is it's always kind of a two each, two each their own uh, type, yeah. type of type of deal. But yeah, great suggestions. Um, IRC. 
IRC for me is probably still my preference, even though it's an older technology than, than for example, Google Hangouts and all that, um, because it it's it's one of those things where you can you can host your own IRC server. Uh, you can invite only the people that you want to be part of it. You can password certain rooms. You have full control, and that's something you don't have on many uh, IM clients out there. Um, Yahoo Messenger used to have chat rooms. It used to be, uh, I mean, they may still have some default ones, but they got rid of most of them um, a few years back, and it just. I want control. I want to. I want to create a room and have it have a conversation with people, and I want control. And that's what IRC gives you. You can script out bots and 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 different different things to to make your experience as custom as possible. And and that's what you know IRC uh, can do for you. So if you haven't discovered IRC yet, you might want to download one of these clients and and check it out for yourself. I was gonna say Yahoo Chat. You mean Yahoo Bots? Yeah, Yahoo Bots. <laughs> Yahoo Bots. <laughs> Yeah, Yahoo. It started out okay, but yeah, it, it's been taken over. It went it went downhill fast. Yeah. Now another good Mac client, I would recommend Textual. Textual, I, I've heard about that, but I've never tried it. Is there? I've is been there using that, that for, makes it really good. I've been using it since it came out in beta. I guess it was. Uh, it used to be free. Now he's asking for a little donation. Um, I think it's great for a power user. And if you're doing a lot of networks on uh, Windows, NetTalk. Okay. It's a brand new, I, I don't know if it's actually brand new, but I just found it recently. And it works real well for doing a lot of networks if you're doing a lot of scripting between, you know, try, trying to join chat serves, your nicknames on different networks. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Great recommendations. Because on um, uh, MIRC, it's hard. Yeah. To and do what that. About, what about you, the watcher? What What do you recommend? What What is your IRC yeah. uh, channel or, or or server or client of choice? Go ahead and leave a comment below and let us know. See you later.